Horace, Naomi delegates, it's great to bring solidarity from the TUC and to applaud the wonderful work the MU does, giving a voice to over 30,000 musicians and campaigning on the issues that matter to members. Huge credit to Horace for the brilliant job he's done and to the whole MU team, officers and reps alike. Together, you've exposed the scandal of musicians working for free, defended copyright and performers' rights, and set out practical proposals to fix streaming. On top of that, you've championed music education, fought the outrageous 50% cuts to music funding in HE, and campaigned against bullying and harassment, which hits women and black and ethnic minority and young musicians hardest. Delegates, you've also exposed how Brexit bureaucracy is wrecking workers' rights to earn a living, work that's worth almost £6 billion to the UK economy. Instead of more red tape, it's high time ministers sorted it out. And decency and dignity at work have never been more important. The pandemic has been a huge challenge to working people and musicians have been on its economic front line, unable to work due to lockdown restrictions. I'm proud that our movement has worked hard for the safety and incomes of workers, for all workers, whatever their status. We won the furlough scheme, which benefited around 10 million, but too often this government left the self-employed high and dry. Now ministers must step up to give arts, culture, entertainment and festivals the support we urgently need. And when this is over, no going back to business as usual. We must build back fairer, and above all, for a future that is more equal. And that must include the guarantee of decent sick pay for all. Covid didn't invent inequality, but it made it a whole lot worse. In Boris Johnson's Britain, you pay a high price for being black or a woman or disabled or working class. Not just in our pay packets and jobs, but homes and health too. Look at how this government has treated our key workers. They nursed our loved ones, cleaned our workplaces and cared for the elderly. And how are they rewarded? Ministers find millions for their mates handing out government contracts. But for those who put their health and sometimes lives on the line, zero, a pay freeze. They cared for us, it's time we cared for them. And that's why the TUC is calling for real change. A nationwide programme to create good green unionised jobs, including culture and entertainment. And we demand action to deliver decent work for all. The government promised us an employment bill. Over 18 months later, nothing. So this summer, we'll be stepping up our campaign to demand guaranteed hours and a ban on fire and rehire a £10 minimum wage and fair pay for all, and trade union freedoms, rights to bargain and organise workers. We are a growing movement. Membership is up four years in a row. So we are ambitious. We know there is real strength in unions and that this union has led the way. Organising young workers, precarious workers and winning. So be proud of the work you're doing, proud of your union, and be proud of being part of a movement dedicating to winning workplace justice. Stay strong, stick together, solidarity to all, and have a great conference.